what's going on? It's your boy Coach, and we are on day 45. I should be a little more enthusiastic. I'm just a little tired. Um, the last couple days have been um, pretty, pretty exhausting and a little stressful. So um, I've gotten through it um, in terms of you know work and some of my school stuff going on. Um, but um, I'm cruising along in terms of my nutrition and uh, my exercise and activity. We're kind of right where I need to be. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I do have a uh, weigh-in slash pictures coming up in a few weeks, or less than three weeks. So um, just to kind of see where I'm at, how I'm finishing up. And um, I will be changing a few things in the next two weeks and we'll go through that. Um, but for today, a tip I wanted to bring in and something we want to discuss this week is the different, that we will call bad diets or trend diets. Um, one that I've tried in the past is very ineffective for me is the low fat diet. Sometimes it's called the bodybuilder diet. Um, you know, generally fat has more calories. So if we take fat out of our diet, we're going to remove a lot of calories and it's easier to maintain a deficit. However, in my experience, um, I've suffered um, many side effects, including, you know, the lack of drive, motivation, um, the hormonal support that comes from fats. The inability to think, um, I, I get kind of foggy, um, I get irritable. So yeah, and how much um, dietary fat you should have per day, you can kind of play with it. Some people need less than others, but for me, um, I know if I'm right around 100 grams a day, that's kind of my bare minimum. Um, I kind of about 150 is going to be best. It sounds probably like a lot for most, but I also have more calories than most people will have. Um, so really what you have to kind of do is balance it out and put the least amount in that you'll still feel okay and still not get deterred or burned out. Um, and how will you know if you're having enough dietary fat? Well, like I've said before, is if you start craving fats, like for me, my fat has been a little low the last maybe week or so as I'm trying to get a little bit lower in calories. And therefore, I start craving things like peanut butter and things like that and avocados. So I, my body's kind of driving, trying to drive me in that direction anyway. So interestingly enough, and this cut or whatever, this mini cut, we can call it, um, I'll be removing some carbs and actually putting more fat in. So um, that's where we're at. And so that's what I have for today. Um, you can try it. Just, you know, play with that. You know, don't make any changes after one or two days. It's something you got to try out for about a week or two and stay pretty consistent and you'll know, hey, you know what, if I didn't have enough fat, I need to bring it up or hey, you know what, I've had probably too much fat, I'm fine, I can cut a little bit out and save on the calories. So it's something you'll have to tweak uh, and play around with. So, because I'm tired, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna sign off for the day and I will see you tomorrow.